What is up with this boat driver? This, look at him. He, he looks, he looks like, dead. He's so focused. He's like, I don't want to get fired on my acting job. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> acting job? <laughs> he looks not there He didn't acknowledge nobody that came in the room. Just get his check. That's all I want. It's your girl, Justin Marie, and I am back with another video. Today, we're going to be checking out some more Twilight Zone, and we're doing some binge watch time, y'all. So, this episode is, we're on season one, episode 10, Judgment Night. Now, I think I might know this one, maybe, um, but whatever it is, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. I'm accompanied with my husband, Tony. Hello. Do you have something you'd like to say? No. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I know this episode as well, Judgment Day. Um, Matter of fact, I think I hadn't seen it until we got together. If it's what I'm thinking it is, then yes. Yes, I think so. I showed her this episode. I think he did. So, and this actually became one of my faves. It's very good. Yeah. I'm, I like it. So, let's get on into it. Twilight Zone, Season 1, Episode 10, Judgment Night. Let's go. Her name is the SS Queen of Glasgow. But what is never recorded in a log is the fear that washes over a deck like fog and ocean spray. Mm. Well, the year is 1942, Sad. and this particular ship has lost its convoy, stalked by unseen periscopes of steel killers. That looks like something out of a horror movie. Oh, Just the way it looks. In the dark and fog. Mm. Mm -mm. Maybe just headed to the abyss. I would have went right back in my room, wait for the sun to come out. Probably even then it looks like a <laughs> horror story, even then. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And the sun is out, still looking scary. Let's black out down there. They'll be finished serving dinner soon, sir. You'd best go in if you want to eat. Thank you. Yes. Dang, he's like, he's he looks confused. <laughs> Thank you. He looks troubled, Are you worried, nervous? afraid, so something. Take a seat, sir. Yes. I'm Jerry Potter. We look for you at dinner. How about some coffee, sir? I guess he didn't even get to have dinner. You, I would like a cup of coffee. Well, here's your seat right over here, Mr. Lancer. Yeah, Are you heading home, Mr. Lancer, or away from home? Why, I'm heading away from home. Saw your name on the list. I tried to figure out what you looked like. It's a game I play. I try to connect a face with a name. That's kind of a game you keep private. Yeah, I don't. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> I play those kind of games too, but I don't know what you're both are talking about. I don't, I don't, I don't tell life. anybody that I play those games. It's just going on my mind. You know how we do. We people watch. I uh, haven't much time. I just wanted to say hello to some of you. <laughs> That we have a miserable fog out there, and I thought it best to take my meal on the bridge. I thought it was best for me to take my meal when I do my job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Stay up there. Oh, he's just walking all around the ship. Wolf packs, isn't that what you call them? Yeah. Converging on us. There'd be no wolf packs converging on a single ship, Major Devereaux. I'll tell you something. I'd rather they go after us with one of those pocket battleships. That you can see. 
Not a skulking, crummy tin fish a couple of miles underwater. If you're being followed, you'll see the sub, Mr. Potter. It will surface. You have some information, sir. You look jittery. Don't know your name, but you know that. Captain. Mr. Lancer, but you sound rather like a U-Bird commander. Struck a nerve. Did he break the plate? Uh, hope I didn't get any on you, Miss Stanley. I'm trying to keep my composure and not get exposed. Why did you open yourself there? <laughs> Sir, it's, it's all right. You touch not on his private areas. He's all in between his legs. He's even standing up like attention. Like military. Yeah, you offended me. First of all, I hope you're all as comfortable as possible. The ship was not designed to carry I'm comfy. Enough, and I hope you'll bear with any little inconveniences. Home. Uh, I was born in Frankfurt. Frankfurt? Frankfurt like in Germany? Yes, Germany. Remember that man was like Frankfurt, Germany? Did I well? Aren't we at war with... Germans. Yes. Are you one of those, um... You'll forgive me. You looked so familiar. <sighs> but for that matter, they all did. What? The feeling of doing things, saying things. Mm. The feeling that you've done them before. I know that feeling. I've had it occasionally. I had a feeling. Even the conversation, even the breath. The breath smelled the same. The cologne too. So he said that those people looked familiar to him. Mm-hmm. I don't see Everybody's familiar. Recall. And she's basically agreeing with his deja vu is basically what they're saying. To recall getting on this ship or anything else for that matter. That sounds like a dream. You disappear somewhere where you don't know I how you got there. It's a nightmare to not know who you are. It is. <laughs> How you got there? What's your purpose there? No, not really. I know who I am. I'm Karl Lanzer. I am Karl Lanzer. I was born in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm in the... In the... What? In the what? As if... I'm in a nightmare. Mm. It's so strange. Mm. I feel as if there's disaster out there. We are being stalked. I know we're being stalked. He's afraid of it. Yeah, he's very certain of what he's saying. The captain's compliment, sir. He wonders if you come with me to the bridge. It'll... How is that a compliment? He's just trying to say, get over here now, pleasantly. So, oh, the captain's compliment. Hey, no. First of all, would you mind showing me your passport? Mm. What is up with this boat driver? This, look at him. He looks, he just, looks dead. He's so focused. He's like, I don't want to get fired on my acting job. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> acting job? <laughs> he looks not there He didn't acknowledge nobody that came in the room. Just get his check. That's all I want. There is game election. I don't really know how I got on this ship. I don't recall anything about it. I seem to remember only odd, disjointed things. Well, at the table, you seem to show a remarkable working knowledge of German submarines. Now, could that perhaps give you a thought? All right. That's all, Mr. Lanza. Good night. I'm going to talk to my gentleman here. Yeah, now we're all suspicious of this person on both. Who's rowing the ship and just is... Very serious. <laughs> Spilling coffee and not knowing who he is. He's not looking nowhere except straight ahead. So, and where's your passport? Oh, Please. I didn't see this. War souvenir, sir? Beg pardon? Uh, War souvenir? Uh, yes, sir. German naval officer's cap. Submarine commander, as a matter of fact, sir. Don't touch anything that doesn't concern you. That was mean. Yeah, he was trying to do his job, hoping, hoping for some toppings. So it's yours, sir. He's a lieutenant. Mark, Captain here. 
We've simply got to have more revs. Now, if you can give me maximum speed for 12 more hours... Captain, these engines needed an overall two months ago. Instead of that, they're getting worked to death. All right, Macau, do what you can. Aye, aye. Why would you go out with a ship like that? With the dangers in the ocean. And you're a terrible captain to bring us out here. Well, I don't think they're the only ship that's doing this. It's unwise if you feel there's danger. I wouldn't be if there's a war going on. Yeah, I'm like, if home. we are going to get in these walls, this engine better be ready. Yes. Tip, 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 <laughs> top shape. <laughs> we are not. The engines, they sound labored. Well, they always sound like that, sir. You get used to it after a bit on this tub. He says that these engines were originally designed for Lord Nelson. <laughs> that sounds like it's a very old engine. Yeah. At 1.15. Something is going to happen at 1.15. That's, that's an stopped. aggravating feeling to think. Mm -hmm. Why have the to be like that. Oh, it's probably just routine, sir. Don't give me that they've broken down. Serious. serious. How could that not be serious but in these waters? waters? like these without any power, you don't think that's serious? That's very serious we're to me. We're absolutely that's why I say he's a terrible captain. Stop smiling and making light of this. <laughs> yes, this is serious. <laughs> very serious. What's wrong with y'all? We're gonna die. Yeah, look at that engine. Just <laughs> decrepit. <laughs> Break it down to ten man style engine. This, he's, this captain is just like the Titanic captain. Wasn't doing his job. It'll make the uh, icebergs harder to see. That's what we must do. We must abandon ship, yes. We must abandon ship. Where is everybody? <laughs> just disappeared right in front of his like, eyes. Hey, I'm trying to give y'all some knowledge so we can survive. Y'all don't even care. It's not that serious. Huh? Yes, it is. Yes. Have a brand new. Yes, we're just coming into the ocean. Let's see you right out there. Oh, deeply. How else are you gonna ask? Well, who else is that flashing the light in the darkness? Don't you hear me? Out of your eye, out of your minds, all of you! There's a U-boat here! I saw it! She's going to sink us! What do I have to do to you? Do I have to grab you and put you on deck? Hmm. They don't look lifelike. Or they just don't care about. Okay, what the heck is that? <laughs> Get a nice floor here. Oh, dang. He was right in the center of the it Looks like he's all by himself right now. Okay, now that's very terrifying. Why am I now alone on this giant ship? Yeah, all I hear is my echo. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Binoculars right there. Yes. <laughs> so convenient. That looks like him. Sure do. Say they got With that the hair on. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at them getting to work. They got a lively crew. I like his shit. And some ammunition. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, he's giving the word. He didn't want to have a conversation with you. Just mm. blow it up. I don't, care. I don't care how brave you are. That is terrifying. Oh, shit. It's getting attacked like yes. that. We can't swim like sharks or dolphins. Oh, my God. Poor girl. That is just awful. That's why that Titanic was scary. It seems like just stuck on this thing. We are not meant to be in water like that. This is land. Oh. She burns it down. Yeah, I'm Oh, look at the captain. He's suffocating with the smoke. Oh, my. He probably either got killed or was knocked unconscious and or then. Drowned? Yeah. Or... Boy, I'm right. He's like very stiff. Oh. Oh, uh, little, little girl. girl. Oh, there she is. Oh, is that her? Yes. The baby's hand. I think I never noticed that part. I did. I don't even know what the purpose was to gun down that ship. It wasn't a military ship. The Queen of Glasgow, 5,000 tonner, isn't that what the registry said? 
Yes, sir. 5,000 people. He don't look happy for what happened. I wouldn't be happy. Like, man, this is... This is not of God. Come on! <laughs> on that ship. Women, too. So Children. Sir, we gave them no warning. To reconcile the killing of men and women without any warning. Don't you understand? Are you just so disconnected from if we are not damned, no. human life? I mean, sir, in the eyes of God. Exactly. This, this is more important. Oh, you're not. Suppose we are damned. What will happen then? Perhaps to be damned is to have a fate like the people on that ship. Mm. To suffer as they suffered. We'd ride the ghost of that ship every night. They could die only once. Just once, but we could die a hundred million times. I remember that conversation, don't you? Remember, it's involved in this. I don't know, but I kind of seems like he is because but, I'm sure that scene happens over and over. Yes, and that conversation is coming up to him prior to time. For one man, it is always 1942. Light in the salon. Let's black out down there. And this man will ride the ghost of that ship every night for eternity. And in the case of Carl Lancer, former Capitan Leutnant, Navy of the Third Reich, this is the penalty. That's terrible. This is the justice meted out. That is judgment night. Is that judgment. is judgment. Wow. Any judgment were to happen to him, that would be kind of fitting. All right. Well... That was judgment night. He got some judgment. I really wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um... That. Because for all we know from watching this episode, it could be the year 5000. No, I, I didn't get that impression. No, no, I'm saying like. And... No, I'm saying like in our. Because he's dead. He's gone. So he yeah. said you can die a hundred million times. So who knows what time he's in right now in our time. It, he could be 2,000 years old. For all we know, died 2,000 times. Or not 2,000 times, but every day for 2,000 years since he's been dead. Well, so it, hasn't we don't... Been two th it hasn't been 2,000 years since the Germany situation. No, I'm saying he That's obviously died out sometime yeah. after the war. So he he could have died when he was 90. For all we know, they don't tell him when he actually died. But I don't know he probably lived. But the amount of times he has died in judgment, he could be a million years old. For all we know, and they're just showing him like this is going to keep repeating over and over and over again. This right man, now, yeah. this man is in hell. Right, he's in his own personal hell. Torment. So time doesn't move or go behind for him. So as of right now, we're in 2021. He's still there in this situation again. This was put out in the 50s, 60s, early 60s. Late. So that's what I'm saying. It's so, obviously not that long ago, but he's probably been going through this. I don't know how many times, but as far as the amount of years, I, we can only go off of the years we expend as a human to really evaluate I know, that. I'm just, but in Twilight Zone, they do have futuristic episodes. So I, well, I my, I my point is... Then. A million years could pass, and he's still in that situation on that boat with those people. Well, clearly that will be the case. Exactly. So we don't know how many times he has gone through this the whole story. The whole thing was in his hell. We didn't see the real world ever in this episode. We don't know what year he's in. He's in well, hell. I guess so. That's what I'm saying. We never saw real life in this whole story. Everything was his hell. And his reminiscing of what he was told in hell. So he has no idea what year he's really in. No, he definitely doesn't. No. Yeah, no. so how, he could have died a million times or ten or four for all we know. But the point is he... Yeah, who knows how many times yes. he has to recycle this exactly. situation. It's pretty torturesome. And he, I kind of feel a little bit bad for him. You know, a little bit. Because, you know, after I would think a thousand times, you're like, okay... I don't remember. But, but it's it's the judgment. It's it's his own personal 
judgment based on, I guess, the actions that yeah. he decided to take. Yes. And whenever y'all feel about the war, I'm not going to bring all that into the situation. Just no. as a human perspective, I will. I would hope that that man who obviously was telling Captain Lieutenant Lancer, I feel kind he, of bad. About yeah. This. I hope that because obviously he, he escaped. I don't know. He, he could have. Whenever he died, because obviously, this is based on how you lived your life, and I guess this was really how he felt about people and how he treated people. That, Precise moments. Yes. Pers- okay. Yeah. That was a moment that was going to judge his whole uh, eternity yes. existence. So whether he died a day after that situation or, or fifty years after yeah. the situation, mm-hmm. it seems like that was really the climax of his judgment. This of, is going to be your personal torment yes. right here. So hopefully, Everybody else ain't going to experience this. So hopefully, you are going to yes. experience this. So hopefully that man who felt very, very shameful for what happened, hopefully he repented. That's what I was wondering. I was wondering, do you think the whole crew was doomed based on the fact that they followed this lieutenant's orders? I would say no. Personally, I would say no, because I, th- I, I think hope, really... I would hope not. I think really as a religious aspect, you can make up and atone for your sins and work your way into being forgiven. So mm-hmm. I don't think Carl Lancer's judge, judgment... Because I don't think that man was really for it. Even when he no, gave the order, he was like, that's not that's not cool. Yeah, but so, he doesn't have to say so to stop it. Yeah, I don't think either. I don't think Carl... Doom the whole crew by his actions. Well, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. And he knows the art of war that you need to give warning. That's the proper way. Yes. To handle. Um, so. Because that wasn't even a military ship. So it was like. No, it was a passenger ship full of kids. You could have really no, just and, left and them the alone, elderly, really. And they know. were just trying to go to New York. Yeah, they're trying to go home. That's it. So. Hopefully the rest of the crew wasn't damned. Obvi- obviously, Carl was on that ship by himself. And I think they said there was 5,000 passengers. 5,000. It's a lot of people to just take out. That, you're res- that you have now been responsible for. Yeah. And, and I don't think anyone has really the right to take another life like that. But I, I, don't, I don't like you know people just taking human life. I think that's just wrong. Um, especially if it's not warranted. There's moments where it's warranted. If you're defending yourself, that something wasn't like defending that. Yourself. No, this was not that at all. No, so this that was, was just murder. Yes, that's what I would call this. And this is because even even when that man told him how many people were on the boat, who was on the boat, he was still like. So, and was mad that that guy had some remorse. I was laughing at him, really. Yeah, like, you're an old, does it call him old woman? Old something. He said that he's a religious man and a a mystic or, yeah, a mystic, I think he said. I don't know what made him a mystic. I don't know, but. You know, some people believe in a life after living on this earth and some people don't. Or some people just don't even think about it, so. You know, clearly this episode wanted you to think about the fact that when you leave the earth... You possibly can be judged. There's going to be another life you're going to have to experience. Yes. And it may not be the best life that you might think. But all in all, I really liked the episode. episode. It was great. It was was great. This makes you think. So that's why I like it. Because I like when it makes you think when the show is over. You're like, wow, this is kind of deep. Because we can really go deep into this for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) That meant to us and, you know, different perspectives of it. But it was a great episode. Absolutely. So what would you... (laughs) (laughs) That came out of nowhere. And so Um, what would you rate it? I would give it a 10. I will give it. I have to give it a ten. I think that was very well executed. Oh, I don't it had know a about lot of. Ten. It, had a, <laughs> it had a very good Twilight Zone. That's how I like Twilight Zone to be. Yes, this is when the, you are just in the situation, yes. and all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's what's going on. I like, I like the to twist. be shocked. And I remember when I first watched this episode, it, was, it, it shocked me. Yeah, it shocked me. I was too. like, what? He's wow. I think I'll give it a nine. I'm going to just go one below because I'm like, I don't know if it's 10 worthy, but it's definitely a 9. This is what I'm going to say. 
because I we said in the beginning of this episode that I showed her this yes. um, episode for the first time after she's been a Twilight Zone fan as a kid. Somehow I haven't she did miss, miss this, this one. one. I don't know how. And when she watched this one, she for the first time you would have gave it a ten. Yes, maybe. She would. She but loved I'm it. I'm giving it a nine because I'm just thinking of all the other ones that are coming. But it's not fair. But I didn't give it a nine. It's almost it's good. a ten. My oh, God, it's good. A nine is good. Getting but eight. I know when she first watched it, she loved it. She was like, "Can I believe I never saw that one?" That's really yeah, good. She loved it. It's a good twist. Um, but yeah, I like a good twist. But so far, out of all the episodes, we we're on number ten. This one was the best so far for me. Yes. But it is not my favorite. But I so, do like Alicia though. That was funny. Watch the lonely. It's called the lonely. The lonely with <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> That's the one she really ah. was loving. It was a good episode. It was um, funny. But Jessica had a very good time watching that. But yeah, <laughs> we have a whole playlist um, on our, on the channel. Go through them. We're binge watching these. All these. We're on number 10. We have over 100 to go. So we're still going to be here trying to give it to you as fast as we possibly can. Yes. Along with our other shows we're reacting to. The other things we're reacting to as well. So. so, with that being said... You guys, let us know how you felt about this episode in the comment section below. Also, if there's anything you'd like to recommend to us, please leave that in the comment section below. Also, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be informed every time we drop a video. And with that being said, you guys, please stay safe, stay blessed. And I will see you for the next video. All right, y'all. Bye.